Why you why are you acting up? Like right when I fucking hit record, why are you acting up? Stop. 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 Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning back in. So I'm on a roll. I'm on a roll. Oh, we gotta keep this going, right? Because I'm back. I know you guys are probably like, um, you can't just come back after like two years and not give us a life update, right? I know. But I just wanted to get these looks out because I was inspired. But I will have a life update, okay? Let you guys know where's going on with my life, where I've been, and et cetera, et cetera. For now, just, just just take these looks, right? Just take them. Just just You won't take them. And, and we're going to talk later, right? Okay. So, this is today's look right super cute um i i just i i just came up with it that's really it i don't i don't really have anything to say about it i know i'll list all the products down below don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so y'all can see when i post because i'm gonna be posting right so subscribe to me right because we're friends and friends subscribe to each other's channels okay so if you guys want to see how i created this look then keep on watching bye guys Alright guys, so let's get started. I am going to start off with priming my face using the Fenty uh, Pro Filter Primer, if it would just work. Sometimes you just gotta give it a good beat, and there we go. I'm applying that um, in my T-zone mostly, because that's where I tend to get a little bit oily and my foundation starts to separate. And then we're going to start off with the eyes, so I'm just prepping like I did last time, using my shape tape, and then setting it with... Oh my, this is going fast. Okay, so we're just going in with the Tardius Pro Palette. I'm using the color Whimsy and Mod for my transition color. Um, just, you know, I always do that. Next, I'm going in with Burnt Orange. This is an Anastasia um, single shadow. Can never go wrong with a good Anastasia color. So I'm just kind of putting that into my crease to continue to build it up. Then I'm using a clean brush to make sure everything's nice and blended and winging it out just a little bit because we are going a little bit dramatic with our liner. So in to my Huda Beauty Palette, you guys know I'm obsessed with this, I'm going in with the color Amber. And I'm kind of just defining my crease. Um, if you notice, this look is a little bit of a cut crease, but it's not too dramatic. So my eye was looking a little bit flat, so I wanted to bring some dimension back into it. And in order to do that, I am going to go ahead and use the color Rich Chocolate. It's another single shadow by Anastasia. And really kind of just go into my crease and give it more of that 3D effect. Because it was looking a little bit flat, and I just love when it has that dimensional um, look to it. Again, with my clean brush, going in and making sure everything's nice and blended. I went ahead and I did the concealer off camera and I'm going in with the color Angelic from the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette. It's a really pretty, um, like a champagne pink color. Just checking it out. You'll see how I feel about it. Yes, yes. Then I'm going back in with that same color, um, the Rich Chocolate, and I'm just defining my crease a little bit more. And just again, I don't want the look, the eye look to be flat. So. Oh, ay, ay, ay. Guys, I think Spice Girls was playing and I was kind of lit on this one. Yeah, Spice Girls was totally playing. You can't go wrong with Spice Girls, guys. I was living right now. Okay, alright, we're done. So, I did my liner off camera because this liner was, yeah, detrimental. You can totally go in and use um, a glitter liner, but... I wanted to get creative and why not so what I did was I went ahead and I went over my liner with the glitter glue and then I just went in with the glitter and started um, um, adhesing it into the liner so as you can see it's I mean it's a cool thing but I mean if you want to just simplify your life then you can totally just get a glitter liner but I thought it looked pretty cool and it was something different definitely out of out of my comfort zone and this is what I'm trying to do this year is kind of break out of my comfort zone because you know it's time for change for lashes I'm using the Lena lashes if you guys are familiar with my channel you know that these are some of my favorite lashes um, they are mink and these are in the style Bianca I am obsessed with them they're just 
so beautiful and wispy. Yes. So I'm going in with my um, Fenty foundation. I am in the shade 220. And I forgot that this foundation actually dries up super fast. So I'm working quick. I'm just using one of these, um, I don't even know what to call these. Just one of these little oval brushes. And then I'm going in with a little bit more foundation. I love this foundation because it is buildable. Um, so you can make it as full coverage as you'd like. So whenever I go in with the brush, I like to go in with my beauty blender and just make sure everything is really nice and flawless. I hate my biggest pet peeve is streaky foundation. And I'm blending that down into my neck as well because, you know, gotta be all one color. And I'm using the shape tape. Now, I haven't used the shape tape as like a full-on highlight and concealer. And I'm also using this CoverGirl, um, I think it's supposed to be a concealer, but it, I use it as a contour stick, obviously. But I hated it. It blended horrible, and you guys will see in just a minute. I literally threw it to the other side of the room because I was like, mm -mm, this, it just, it looks, what's the word? Muddy. Yes, that's the word. And as I started to blend out my concealer, I was like, oh my god, this is light. Oh my god. Yes, what just what's happening? And yeah, I just felt like it was super light, but you know what? We're gonna we're gonna be Kim Kardashian two thousand nine because why the hell not? So here I am just blending. Um, notice that the blend that the I forgot how to speak. The sponge wasn't blending the contour right, so I went ahead with this kind of like a shadow brush, and I'm just blending everything, and we're done with that. Yeah, I wasn't happy with it. I'm setting the face using the Patrick's powder. I absolutely am obsessed with this powder. Like, you guys have no idea how delicious this powder is on the face. It doesn't leave the face chalky. It doesn't leave it cakey. And I was a little bit worried because it was very pink. But I, I don't know how, I don't know. I don't know how he did it. But I love it. So I'm just going to skim through my eyebrows. I feel like it's just such a tedious pro like process and I don't know it is what it is I mean there's really nothing special to them next I'm gonna go ahead and just set my powder a little bit more and I'm using the Kat Von D shade and light palette you guys know that this is one of my favorites and it's completely worn out and then I'm setting the rest of my face with the uh, makeup forever um, powder that I'm absolutely obsessed with and I'm just um, making sure this face don't go nowhere because you know nobody got time next I am carving out my cheekbones again using the shade and light palette and y'all let me tell you how this cover girl stick tried it you see them lines because I did it I thought I was killing it but anyways I'm <laughs> going in with now give the uh, give me sun um, bronzer by Mac and I'm kind of just uh, bronzing myself up because I want to look like JLo um yeah so now we're just doing a little bit of reverse contouring. Again, I'm using Patrick's powder um, just to give my cheeks that chiseled look. For blush, I'm using a blush that I actually had for a long time and I've never used it. This is Romance by Makeup Geek and Peaches by MAC. Um, I love the color it gave me, but you'll see like in a few seconds, I just added a little more pinkier blush just because I like really, yeah, I like blush. I'm a blush girl. And this is Delicioso by Milani. Now, I told you guys last time I'm obsessed with this like, technique. I use this on all my brides and all my clients. Um, this is the Milk um, Highlighting Stick in the color Lit. So appropriate. So I'm just putting that all over my face um, using a little stippling brush. I'm obsessed with the stippling brush. This is a Real Techniques brush. And for highlight, we are using the Kilowatt Highlighter by Rihanna. You guys, I can't stress enough how bomb this highlight is. Look at that. This is the only highlighter I'm using. The, like usually you know how sometimes I like to layer my highlights it's not necessary for this because as you can see I'm blinding you and I'm sorry but this highlighter is bomb.com I'm obsessed oh so pretty I can't even take it look at that look at that glow yes glow come on Rihanna yes mm. god I love it I had put some um, lip treatment on my lips because like I said my lips have been super chopped due to the four days of cold weather I only had <sighs> yeah whatever anyways so you know checking this out whatever my lips feel nice so I started my lip liner 
and as I was looking at my myself in the mirror, I was like, something is missing, and I don't know what it is. I couldn't really place it until finally it hit me like a bag of bricks. I, I forgot to put my liner on, so just hold on, pause. We're going to go, yes, we're going in with the NYX White Eyeliner. I love white eyeliner. Um, it just makes the eye look so pretty and doll-like. I personally don't like how black liner looks in my waterline. I always go for this, um, even in my most dramatic looks, just because I think it looks so pretty. And if you smoke out the liner like I'm doing here, it's just gorgeous. So I'm continuing by lining my lips. Um, this is the NYX lip liner. Again, I don't know the exact name, but I'll list everything down below. So for lips, we're using the Jeffree Star Liquid Lipsticks. These are amazing. This is in the color Gemini. And then I'm going to go ahead and top it with Androgyny. Love these. I love his lip liquid lipsticks. Like His products are out of control. So that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this look and enjoyed me giving you some face. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Your own life because that's what I just did. No, but I look real cute. I look like I could be somebody's wife, no?